You get what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. We want to know, you know what I mean, what it took to get here. Let's start us when it first started for you, party promoting in the beginning. You know what I mean? Eras, what years? We need you to really, you know what I mean? Tell us about it. Um, all right, to go to go back to the beginning, um, it would probably start like high school time, whatever, like around like eleventh grade, mm -hmm. tenth grade. But see, it was it was a little different for me because um I got into it. Basically, like, you know, a lot of y'all know, like, my relationship with uh, Wala or whatever. Right, so right. we got into it more so because, you know, that was my, you know, like I said, we grew up together since fourth grade. So around, like, eighth grade, seventh, eighth grade or whatever, he was like, yo, I'm trying to DJ. And I'm like, yo, let's, you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm going to back you a thousand percent. You feel what I'm saying? Right. So he started getting into the DJing thing. So as soon as he started, I'm like, yo, why come, you know, come to the cookout. And I'm saying, like, you know, you know, we do family cookouts. I'm booking, I'm booking Wa to come, come there and do it, whatever seven, we first eight, started. Eight, yeah, this back That's then. Crazy. This back then or whatever. So... I mean, as we got a little bit older, you know what I'm saying? He got more into it. He, you know, he had the skating yeah, rink. Yeah. He had the skating rink, but we coming to the skating rink. You know, branch book mm -hmm. days and shit. Mm -hmm. So so we started like, yo, let's try to do our own shit. You know what I'm saying? This is like, maybe, like I said, 11th, 12th, somewhere around that time, whatever. Right. So we started doing our own cookouts. You know what I'm saying? Like our own little cookouts in the backyard. And that got me seeing that, like, you know, we can actually bring people ourselves. You know what I'm saying? But, so it wasn't no money at all at first? No money. This is just pure, coming just, out. Yeah, just mm, coming out. It was, at it was basically, time. he was uh, building proof and concept. Yeah, exactly. It was, no. it was just for the fun of it. It wasn't yeah, really yeah, yeah. about the bread. It was just like, yo, you know what I'm saying? You know, I want my people to come out. And I'm saying, you know. And so so what that had me doing was kind of like, when, while I was getting booked for more stuff, I was just promoting anything that while I was on. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know, I, mm -hmm. I ain't care about it. Cause that's my brother. So, like, mm -hmm. we grabbing flyers. He got a flyer. I'm passing them out of my little high school, stuff like that. Of it. So that's how I started. What high school you went to? I went to Weekway. Oh, you went to Weekway? Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Know that. yeah, yeah. I graduated in 2002. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah, I graduated in so, Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Be right, I'm right behind you. We ain't nothing yeah, too yeah, far behind yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what you gonna do this all night, bro? You right behind us. <laughs> so, you graduated in 02. Yep, yep. Um, when did you when you when you threw your first party to make actually make money? What was the you know what I mean? Did, where was it at? Did you lose? Tell us the whole breakdown. That first party. So so the first party I did um, was at the arena. It, right now I think it's called uh, Blue, Blue Mirror. Mirror. Yes, yeah, it's called now, right? Blue Mirror. Oh shit! It yeah, is. Yeah. The, that was the arena. Oh, that's what it's called right now. Blue Mirror. No, it's called something else. It's called uh, Origin. I think. Origin. It's called. Or, it was yeah, yeah, Blue Mirror. It was Blue Mirror. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. That was that. Oh yeah, my so, god. Yeah. Right on. I didn't even think. Put that mm -hmm. together. That was that. Yep. So I, that's why I first threw my first party at whatever. Um, and, you know, it was through, you know, it was basically like us trying to do like a... Real a cop, Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I'm saying like, a, you know, we was trying to do like a college event, we called it, whatever. But, you know, it was basically people that we knew and fucked mm -hmm. with. And that's when we first tried and it. And that was, that was your year that you graduated? Your first party was when you graduated high school? I probably was, it's probably my first year in college. I went to Essex County, mm -hmm. you know, the first year, whatever. Then I went to Blowingfield. My first year in Essex County... That's when we did it. So I probably was like, I can't remember my age, whatever. That was the first he was time. Young. I, he was nineteen. 18, yeah, 19. yeah. That was the first time I threw a party to actually make money. Right, right. You know what I'm saying, and, and like I said, we did a couple of those. Like, it was just like people. Like I said, it was a lot of people that we we messed with and grew up with, and then we kind of got more into the colleges because, like I said, I went to Essex County at the time while I went to Rutgers. Right. And um, we ended up teaming up with my brother E. You know, he was in JIT, so we started kind of getting into the college college wave. Then at the arena. You know well, let's slow it down. Let's go back to the first party though. Okay. So that first party that you threw was. Was it profitable for you? Do you remember that much? Do you what was the business behind it? Do you remember so much? Honestly, I don't think we made no real money. You know what I'm saying right, we made right. a couple of dollars, but it wasn't no real night. Like, it right, wasn't right. No real nothing real. Nothing but y'all didn't leave in the red though. Mm -hmm. No, nah, we ain't leaving the red. We ain't leaving the red. Was it? It was enough to say, yeah, we can do this. On the yeah, yeah, scale. yeah. It showed. It showed. Like when you see the support, it kind of shows you, like, man, like I can really do this. You know what I'm saying, I, I know y'all did events and stuff before. When you see, like, you know, your people actually come out and support you, it's a good feeling. So that's what kind of kept us going. So moving forward now, boom. You do the party, you link up with E. It's now it's you, E, and Wala, I'm guessing, right? Mm -hmm. And you start, were you, were you part of that group that was doing the record parties? Well, while, that was more so uh, E. E. E was setting those up between Rutgers and NGIT. Right, right. My stuff was more so like off campus. But you didn't have nothing to party that particular thing. No, not the Rutgers event. No. So, what was some of your off parties? It was mainly at the same space? Oh, man, let's get to Rob and Treat. <laughs> Damn, niggas <laughs> wanna go to Rob and Treat ASAP. Hold on, let's hold on, GL. We gonna get to that, man. I just wanna know, cause you know what it is? I wanna build the people up to uh, with anticipation to understand that you don't, these things don't happen overnight. We no, gotta no, see the walkthrough. We don't, gotta understand it. Don't. it. Yeah, yeah. So, so. 
We went to the arena. I think my next thing was brokers. I don't know if y'all remember mm. brokers or whatever case may be. Yeah, <laughs> 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 you crazy? So, so yeah, risking yeah. our lives going up. Yeah. Hey, look, <laughs> mind y'all, we shooting this on 10 trade day. He throwing some brokers. How dare you? Yeah. Yeah. Whooped up there. You yeah. hear me, Q? Yeah, we went. We went to brokers with it, and we started doing events there. Um, and it was like the buildup of our crowd. Like we was at the arena, we seen our crowd was getting bigger. So we went to brokers with it or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and that was the next spot that I did. Then um, for me, that was when I went kind of straight to the Robert Tree. But gotcha. I guess, you know what I'm saying? You know, if we want to we want to hold the treat off, then we go to the tree. But I, got, I went from brokers to the treat. That's How long was life. brokers? Like brokers was, was up there for a No, minute. yeah, brokers was for was a while. Was it too many fights that shut y'all down? No, 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 no. It because, was now you mean to cut you off because you, you guys started promoting I'm talking about in the beginning of the gang era. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. And, and that I know that fuck with your business a little bit. So the crazy thing about that was it, the, the so honestly, we didn't have a lot of like fights or whatever case may be. Like what I our I, I, I mean, you know, I ain't trying to toot our, my own horn, but our parties was so much fun at back then or whatever that we never really had like a lot of like it was a lot of gang members there, but everybody came out a good time like that. I mean, it wasn't really like a lot of and I'm saying you gotta remember these college parties. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We going I'm to saying high school so, parties at that time. Exactly. So at that, that time college parties. At O two, O three? No, he's O three, O four, yeah. Remember I'm bro, you graduated in O four, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so why wouldn't I be at a college party? <laughs> In 03? She was in the 10th grade. Oh, no, I wasn't. <laughs> oh, I forgot you stayed back. <laughs> I'm not that guy. I graduated in <laughs> no, 04. That she did. No, okay, I didn't stay back. Same thing. We're okay. good. So, we did. <laughs> 03, 04. Yeah. 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 03, 04. 03 was brokers as well? Both three was brokers. All right, so look, Hop went to Ruggers. Mm -hmm. So I went to a couple of Ruggers parties because he was there. Mm -hmm. He was security there, right? So we went to those parties. We went to brokers with Hop as well. Mm -hmm. Because the other DJs, this is when I met Kirk 151. They used to be at all the brokers parties, right? Yeah, yeah. And then so now you transitioning to yeah, over yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. now I transition us there. How'd you get there? What was the thought? Who'd you speak to? What made you say, yo, I can I can do this here? Uh, you talking about the uh the treat situation? That's the tree situation, yeah. So the, the treat, the way it came about was um we were we was like, you know, like I said our crowd started getting a little bit bigger. So we was gonna try it out. And um you know, shout out to uh, uh, Chris Barnes, uh, CB. Like he was, uh, he was our uh, connect back then, whatever. To you know, put us in a room with the Robert Tree situation, whatever. Um, I feel like when I, when I go back to the Robert Tree, I feel like that's kind of the, the what put me in the place where I'm at right now, whatever. As far as learning the business, mm -hmm. because you know we had to kind of sit down in a room. You know, like I said, we we 19, 20 years old, whatever. And we had to convince you know multi millionaires to let us get their establishment to do a college party right, in, the, right. in the height of the gang ever type of situation. So, right, right. you know, I had to kind of learn, like, you know, I kind of understand what what do business owners want? What do people want? Whatever case it be. So now I got to convince them, like, you know, well, look, we're going to provide a safe, you know, environment. We ain't doing that too crazy, whatever, like, and, and that so I feel like going back then that kind of taught me how to like like I said between me while I is sitting in that room and trying to you know you know kind of you know talk you know get talk our talk and I'm saying to try to make something happen I think that was yeah yeah that was that was really that was really kind of you know I was kind of dope put me in a space was they was they was like uh because I know yeah they wasn't no bar there obviously right because it was nah, college drinks right but they were selling soft drinks I'm pr I'm pretty sure like yeah yeah we were selling soft soda, drinks we, we, them. Yeah. Yeah. Of that's what I wanted to figure out like, were water. you guys <laughs> making the money off the drinks too or did, were you guys only responsible for the space like yeah yeah see so the break us down a little like give us a little <laughs> bit of the business we need to know it you know what I mean it's so, some kids right now in college that's gonna watch this right no no want to figure it out absolutely. how they can run the program absolutely so the robber tree um. We kept the bar. I mean, well, not it wasn't a bar, and it was juices and waters in mm -hmm. case of being. We Chips kept the and shit like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, like I said, I, I'm not trying to say too high of numbers and try to give numbers Just out give there. Us a but we was we was really. doing we was doing around 2,500, 3,000 people at the time. You know, between right. college kids That's and stuff crazy. like that, whatever. Robert and you know, Tree. yeah, we and was those doing. Those prices were low, like between ten and twenty dollars. Ten and twenty dollars. Get in. Yeah, ten or twenty dollars again. It was more at the door, of course. You know what I'm saying, and then we was keeping all the juices and waters. But if you've been in the treat, you know how to get. You know what I'm saying, right, so so at the so like I said, that that kind of put us in a space to see real money and try to really see like yo, you know what, this party, this whole club shit can actually be profitable. And so, what what did they want from you? Three thousand. So that's the thing. We first started off, and this is crazy though, because we first started off the first party. We paid twenty five hundred for the cheap. Twenty five hundred, right? Then they went up to five thousand. They saw our bill. Oh my good. god! <laughs> a lot of you know this. Is how I went. Then our next party went up to seventy five hundred. I mean, well, y'all can't do that. <laughs> so then, I, I mean, so look, then they saw how good we did again. It went up to ten thousand, and we was, but at the same time, we was really 
doing that good of a numbers that we kept doing whatever. And who, and I mean, who was so, the main promoters in it? Just you, Wala, so, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it was me, Wala, and E. And that, that's what the dopest part about it was. Like, we didn't have artists back then. Like, you know, mm -hmm. the, the whole artist was DJ Wala on the fly. You feel what I'm saying? So that was that yeah. was our artist at the time. You know what I'm saying? So we ain't right. had no budget. You know what I'm saying? And, we and had no so budget. instead of paying him, he took a percentage. Yeah, he was, he's, my, he's our he's partner. partner. He's he's yeah, yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? So that was, pay attention, y'all. <laughs> so ahead. yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, link up with a, link, you can link up with a DJ. I, I mean, you know, and then like I said, the whole, he was the face of the franchise. Like while I was the, you know what I'm okay. saying? Exactly. So mm -hmm. we, so the whole time we in the colleges, we pushing DJ Wala, whatever case it be. So now they know that the Wala party coming up, they coming. You know what I'm saying? They know where to be at. And I, like I said, we had no overheads back then, whatever. Like, you know, nowadays you book an artist, they want $80,000 yeah, and shit like nuts. that, whatever. So now a lot of your bread different. go to them. You feel what I'm saying? But back then, it was just us. So was so was your time and because like we saying we dealing with college kids, was it mm -hmm. was it still two to two or two a.m. ten to two a.m. Was it still the same party time? Like was we, it a little we was early? Up like, at like eight o'clock, oh like it'll be like three before ten or three before nine, and, and it'd be a line from a fucking from the door guys. all the way back around the block type of shit. Like you had to make sure you get them. Was it night 